This is the work of a genius. Batman could never beat Superman if Batman doesn't initiate the fight. Anyway, the comments were subdued last week, but the usuals... Cairo Zen saved the research team by screaming Corella Deville. Your screams of passion have solidified the research team's new week. And like butterflies on the wall of an entomologist, pinned comment goes to Little Ghosty, who's always breathing manually. He's too dangerous to be left alive. And hates these ladies equally. A great step toward gender equality. He immediately responded to being pinned comment by saying. <laughs> Great, now I'm aware of my nose. Touche, big boy, touche. So, if you're an oldie and a goodie, you can skip this rendition of How I Roll. But for those fresh cheeks, you poor souls, listen to this while I eat a block of cheese. I rank villains on the wall. We have three categories. Love or the villainous league of evil where everyone from world threat to reality shattering doomsday apocalypse shows up. Destroy us all! And then... A tier below that, we have Wano, or We Are Number One. Is the club for anyone between a town threat and a world threat. You know, good stuff. We are number one! And trash pandas are threats that you could stop with a wet noodle. They're trash. They're like pandas. They're both useless. Uh, let me be, let me rephrase. That's mean. Trash is actually useful. I thought you were bad! You ain't bad! You ain't nothing! Today, we have an idea that I stole from Tess, Colonel H. Stinkmina. Colonel motherfucking Stinkmina! Holla at your boy, I get money! I have finished my cheese, cheddar. It was vile, like the thing Superman would do to Batman if he tried to step. Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, much of his young life is none of your business. But what we do know is that he hated everything good in the world and losing his eyesight to cancer and leaving him with three years is way more time than Superman needs to make Batman a martyr for Lex Luthor's cause. At least I don't have to look at your glass no more. But back to the topic at hand. You see, Stinkmeaner beat cancer with the love of being cruel and decided to dedicate his life to making it everybody else's problem. He starts beef with Robert Freeman by delivering the best and definitely non-PC, non-family friendly insult I've heard in a while. Bitch ass, faggot ass, punk ass, pussy ass, bitch ass, nickel! They fight and Stinkmeaner dies. But wait, there's more to this story. This video could have been sponsored, but you either haven't subbed or haven't shared it or both. You should do that, it's really important. The big back stink mina didn't sit in hell and suck on brimstone. No, he became a master martial artist. This is how you break your foot off in a motherfucker's ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But being a master martial artist won't save Batman from laser vision. Think mina returns and possesses Mr. Dubois. <laughs> What did you say, nigga? And goes for the Freemans to bust some skulls. What's my name, nigga? What's my name? Stink me. Ding, 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 ding. Exercise by Uncle Ruckus. No relation. A nigga moment cannot exist. No! You me! I'm gonna get you eventually, Robert! Do you hear me? But wait, there's even more to this story. You see, Stinkmeaner wasn't alone. He was the leader of the greatest group of hoodlums known as the Hatocracy. Give me this shit, little nigga! It's my story! I'm a boy, Lord Rufus, Crab Miser, Lady Esmeralda, Bright Nasty, and Mr. George Christopherson met at the Better Pastures Retirement Home. Now, we hated each other right away, but we hated everyone else even more. Eventually, they couldn't take us no more and they kicked us the fuck out. My crew roamed the earth whooping niggas' asses for a decade, and then we split up. When the rest of the crew found out about his death, they saw it as the perfect opportunity to ruin Robert Freeman's life. Because as they put it... Man, we don't give a fuck about no steak, man. What? what? Just because he was our nigga doesn't mean we gave a shit about his ass. We don't need no reason to fuck shit up. That's why we drink Hennessy. 
That's why we smoke menthols. That's why we sniggers. We likes to ruin shit. Hell, y'all just gave us an excuse. If it wasn't you, we'd probably just pick someone at random and ruin their life. Huh? Oh, come on. Well, now what? Now you die. <laughs> They even managed to give the legendary Bushido Brown a third-person view of his body. <laughs> it is a beautiful day to fuck shit up. <laughs> oh shit! Which is what would happen to Batsy if he ever tried to rock up with the Bat family. The cops are going to be having a fun time drawing bat outlines on the floor. So did the cops when they found Boshiro Brown on the floor headless and arrested the hateocracy with their Louis Armstrong sounding second in command. Some niggas just need to go to jail. I might be in hell, but at least I ain't in jail, nigga. <laughs> and Robert Freeman lived a very quiet life after that. is what I would have said if there wasn't even more. Just like a hat trick, there has to be a third, a clone with enhancements, but is all so blind. Yeah, Nyaka, I hit your car just because I wanted to. <laughs> I didn't even want to park in that space. I just wanted to fuck your car up and then wait here to tell you I did it. What you gonna do? Third verse, same as the first. Go and try and kill Robert, but this time Robert has learned from his mistakes. Unlike me, every time I try to punch the creator of the Geneva Convention. So Robert gives him the business and politely asks Stinkmeaner to leave him alone. You are going to leave me alone. And if I see you again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna call the police and file for restraining order. By the by, Stink Meter has some stellar memes. So in light of that revelation, we'll put him right here. Because in a fight with the beast, the beast will easily win. Just like how Batman would lose so easily to Superman if Superman decides to Omni the F-Man up. We are number one! <laughs> Give me this shit, little nigga! Stick me now forever, stick me now forever, stink me, ah, uh, stink me now. But that's all I've got for today. Conduct the YouTube goodness, go annoy a Batman fanboy, scorch the earth, it's pretty cold here in South Africa. Like seriously, who ordered winter this time? I'm not really happy. I'm only used to it being cold in the morning, not in the day. Double digits. Why is it single digits? Why was it negative? Oh, okay. Yeah, screw that. Anyway, ta. Sanka fella! Nacho!